All right, let's get started here. So today there's a lot of talking, a lot of stuff going on today. Uh, we're going to be going over jQuery Ajax. Uh, we're going to be going over jQuery Ajax, and then we'll have a Beyond Tech on personal finance uh, part one. Rod will call in in case you want an opinion of someone who's over 30. Um, and then next week we will do um, personal finance part two, where we talk about investing and things like that. Um, of course, I have not seen any of this. This, all the information that I've, I've, I'm going to teach, I have read about, but I have not seen the effects of personally. Um, so I think it's good both to hear the information, but also because uh, I, I ran everything by Rod, and he says like, yeah, that's exactly what what you should be doing. So we'll have a Beyond Tech on that today, and then sometime next week. Some more things for this week. I won't be in tomorrow morning because Chris Walquist is coming in. If Walquist, if Chris is unable to make it in, then I will run back over. But you know, seeing as there's no weather issues and Chris is a very reliable person, um, I'm fully expecting him to be here from nine to twelve tomorrow. On Thursday, I'm going to clear out some parts of the room and just make sure that everyone can see Brian Willard from Google. He's going to be coming in to talk about a. Uh, whiteboarding and things like that. I'll make sure Mike records everything. And then on Friday, we're going to have, I actually decided to switch around some of the curriculum because since we have no class on Monday and Monday is so important, I'm shortening the retracking week by one day. So it was supposed to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's just going to be Wednesday, Thursday. And then the Monday I was, the Monday material that I was going to teach, I'm going to put on to Friday. So we're going to start web frameworks and Sinatra and stuff like that this Friday. So, uh, like like everyone knows, unfortunately, you're going to have to be, you have class on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we're expecting Leanna sometime on Friday to get here. Um, I see nodding, so that's good. Um, do you actually have an idea of when that is? Is it a.m. or p.m.? Sorry, it uh, hates me. Um, I uh, should be there like at 9 for class. Great, okay. Because uh, I want to go over like frameworks and stuff like that, but I don't want people to miss it because that's an important time. So I was wondering, should I move it in the morning or put it in the afternoon? So I'll put it in the morning. Hopefully, we'll see you right at 9 a.m. What time do those days end on the Saturday? And you should have received an email directly from Greg yesterday. Oh. I think it's until 5 or 5.30. Um, these days are going to be long, but Monday we'll have off for President's Day. Uh, the weekends are the only time he can do it because he's doing this pro bono and does not bill out for hours. So it's a challenge for him to get here. He's from Boston, so we're flying him out, putting him up for a few days. I'll be picking up some packets a little bit later uh, today from FedEx to make sure you guys get ready for that class as well. The certifications that that he gives, that the industry recognizes. So these certifications that he that people give out, you know, one of them is called the Certified Scrum Master CSM. The ones that this one we're doing is a Safe Agile Practitioner. These are these are ones that big companies are looking for, like uh, Pepsi, John Deere, you know, probably Granger to some extent, uh, Chase, IBM. Like large companies are looking for this, but you can talk more to him about that. Uh, it will never hurt you to have this on your resume. Um, Personally, I'm not sure how much it'll help you because this is meant for like really, really big companies and most most people won't be going into really, really big companies. Uh, they'll probably be going to smaller, mid-sized companies. But that being said, it's it's not a it's not a negative thing to have this on here. So yeah, just a little bit of an idea of like where we're going this week. Uh, today we're gonna cover jQuery Ajax, and then we're gonna cover this uh, this beyond tech. So I really want to get started here around nine. 30, uh, just to make sure that we have enough time to go through all the material and to make sure that we have enough time for questions as well. So let's spend the next 25 minutes doing three or four things. It's kind of like your pick your own adventure for the morning. Interview cake, everyone should have gotten a sign up link. If you don't have it, I will send it to you personally and then I will delete it because we, we don't have enough licenses, but it should be working now. Please sign up using GitHub so that you know it's always associated with you. You have interview cake, feedback forms, LinkedIn's, LinkedIn specifically being like, let's talk a little bit about the, um, I also found this kind of interesting. Um, 
more millennials have zero dollars in savings. So that's kind of interesting. For the LinkedIn portion, it's just what we've been doing. Jump down to the job section and write a little bit about what you've done at these jobs, like your job description. But more importantly, what are measurable results that you have? And we're going to continue working on this this week in preparation for the career coaches coming in on Tuesday. Um, they're going to start resume writing. They're going to be working with you one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to be partnered up with one or two career coaches, and then you kind of go back and forth via Google Docs. It's not one of those like drive-by, like, uh, you know, veterans, please bring your resume to this thing, and then nothing happens. This is an actual, like, you will work one-on-one -on -one for an hour or two um, with, with these people. Um, and then finally, the tell me about a time that you had to work with a difficult person on a team in a team setting, and how did you get over that? So we'll do those few things until 9.30 this morning, and we're just going to jump right into jQuery Ajax just to make sure we have enough time. Okay, sounds good. Let's get to it.